Let's consider the production budget. We're going to make a budget for a small business website that we're producing for a client. The role of a production budget is to ensure that a project remains in scope and gives some parameters um, in a monetary sense for a production uh, for a project. It's often used as a project management tool in conjunction with other project management tools like a production budget or timeline. What we do when we're creating a pro production budget is break down all of the tasks or jobs and costs of a project and assign a monetary value to that. Uh, and then once we've, uh, once we've added up all of those individual components, we can work out what the total production budget for the project will be. So let's think about some tasks that um, are involved in the production of a small business website. I'm going to start kind of listing them on my page here. Um, I'm working in Illustrator, but this isn't really uh, an Illustrator tutorial. Um, it's more a discussion about the production of production budgets. Um, so meetings uh, is something that we're going to do a lot when we're producing a website. We're going to be meeting with our clients a lot and other stakeholders and it's something that we should charge for. We're also going to be doing uh, tasks like research. Um, we're going to be maybe doing some identity design. Uh, we might uh, be working on producing sitemaps to show the informa information um, architecture of our website. Once we've listed all of the uh, all of those potential or tasks that we're going to be undertaking during the production of the uh, the project, we can start assigning a monetary value to those. Um, so I might just put a little heading at the top here. Um, tasks. And I'm going to tab across there, just hit the tab key, and I'm going to add a couple of other columns here. So hours worked on the task, tab again on the keyboard, and then cost per hour. and then a total for each of those um, for each of those items. Just pulling up the tab ruler, um, that is command shift T in Illustrator, and then I can add some tabs along. You could do this with a table in another application, and of course there will be on there are dedicated tools for making uh, budgets, um, not to mention spreadsheets uh, like Google Spreadsheets or Excel, something like that. Um, so meetings, uh, I'm thinking that we might end up with four hours of meetings at a total cost or at an hourly cost, $45 an hour, um, and that's going to add up to approximately 180 bucks. Um, so research, again, eight hours, I'm estimating that at $45 an hour. And that's gonna add up to 360. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add, uh, add some more um, hourly figures uh, into these columns and then a cost per hour and a total and then we'll, uh, we'll work out a, um, a total for the whole budget towards the end.
Um, okay, so I've gone through and I've added up all of those costs um, for all of the tasks that we're going to undertake to produce this website and I've come up with a total of $2,940. I think you're getting a pretty cheap website for that, uh, for that figure. Um, but you can see that's really giving us a, a much uh, better idea of the tasks that we're going to undertake and also the, um, the costs involved with all of those tasks. Um, and that's going to, um, that's going to inform, uh, be informative for our client, but also for ourselves uh, so that we can work out how much profit we're going to make project. So a production budget, really important for project management, for keeping the scope of a project um, on track and making sure that the, there's um, defined constraints around the project that all stakeholders um, are aware of.